Hey guys, Trey for Crutchley here today with, and we're back with Dark Episode 7, Crossroads. We've got Jonas who's met his mum as a kid. We also had the confirmation that Mads is the kid from the past got thrown into the future. Um, yeah, and now we've sort of got like, I wonder what Jonas is going to be doing in this um, in this time period. Like, is it going to be where if he does anything, it could just change the outcome, the butterfly effect sort of thing. I, think, I wonder if the show's going to start diving into that now because Jonas is physically, he's not living there. He can go back and forth so he can really fuck about with the timeline. Obviously, we've got Mikel being his dad. So, wonder how But yeah, anyway. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah Ulrich um, put down his affair with Hanno. We also found that Hanno was the one who made he found out Hannah made up the claim so he's cut ties with Hannah by the looks of it but I wonder what sort of trouble she's going to cause now because I don't think she's going to take that very well at all but yeah I really just really want to learn more about the hooded guy the clockwork guy um the power plant know more about that and then whatever with this device is what's um destroying the kids eyes and stuff like there's so much more I want to learn about the show and I'm sure it's just going to keep adding more layers as we go today I will be doing two we'll be doing seven and eight today guys so make sure you like and subscribe to get subscribe and yeah um, subscribe so you get notified when I upload episode eight which should be pretty much straight after this to be fair um, and yeah I just look forward to, mate we're getting, we're getting we're three more episodes and we're in season two so I think we're getting at this at a decent pace I'm not going ultra slow I feel like I just need to do but yeah I'm enjoying the series a lot guys as always thank you for the massive amount of support on this series I'm glad you guys are enjoying these reactions I I'm enjoying doing these videos they're a lot of fun I'm really enjoying dark it's, just like, it's really fun to do a reaction series to like a really mystery show because you can sort of sit there and discuss it and just keep thinking about it but yeah I can't wait to um Two of my friends have just finished it because obviously I have to come going a bit slower than my mates with the reactions. Two of my mates have just finished it. They've loved it. They're having a sport. I really want to discuss the show with them, but they said if they discuss anything, it will just spoil it. So I'm just like, mate, I can't really discuss about it. So I want to try and get through this side, uh, joining on the discussion because I think this is one of those shows that's really great for having theories, discussing it, and obviously like things that might happen later on. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoy this reaction. Let's jump in. Well, this episode's already starting off interesting as hell. What the fuck's happened to his face? What the fuck are they playing around with this device? I feel like Jonas' story is about to kick off now. He's getting a lot more, he's slowly getting more and more screen time. He feels like the main character now, whereas at first he did, everyone felt like the main character. He feels, he feels like he's taken on that role. Even though I'm guessing it's still going to obviously focus on everyone else. That's lab girl, I mean hotel girl, isn't it? How do I just ask someone straight? I love how calm Jonas is, like, he's not just fucking freaking out. She seems pretty chilled as well as that when she was younger. I kind of feel bad for her. So I've actually seen this guy, like, Ulrich go full out now. Because, like, at the start, he was sort of was just half assed doing his job, now he's, like, full on doing it, not messing around. He's actually quite a super tight grand cop. Oh, they've got it. Boy. Oh, is it? So he got out of that room. So he's been in the room. They recognised the air. I didn't even see his air damage then. Oh, mate, he's going through everyone's fucking notes. Nice. Mate, he's get, he might get somewhere with us. I'm really enjoying this. This is a really good world on time travel shows. Like I said, I've, I've been iffy towards time travel shows because I just hate plot holes to send me f insane. But it's like, I really like how this is done. And I don't feel like, I feel like it's going to be so well done. It might be a struggle. It might, actually, might, might struggle to find a plot hole. What's that obvious? <laughs> He's barking up th for the wrong reasons, but he's barking up a tree that is useful. Oh, tracks. Is that the fan with the mud? It's fucking big ass tracks. Dinger gibt. 
<laughs> and if I noticed that, that's pretty cool. Not creepy at all. Mate, how's it got to walk all the way back to the cave? That seems like a lot of effort. Oh, mate, she's not messing about, is she? This is the cave we first was introduced to a while ago with our radiation and our nuclear waste. I always find it fun when we're characters investigating stuff because then we can we might learn something through their eyes. I love how some shows make it really jarring to keep switching timelines, but this show just nails it perfectly. Well. I just know when it's switched or not. Surely you can't take Mikel back though, because if you did that, that would just fucking kill him, kill off his birth, basically. <laughs> it's annoying because it's not staying on one character's point of view long enough, because it's like, oh, let's just, let's just swap you over, make you wait a bit longer, Liam, before you can have your answers or give us more questions. But to be fair, all three story lines are pretty interesting. That's what I like. That's what I like about this show. I do feel like it's not following a wasted character. Where it's just trying to buy, make time up. It's following uh, everyone is following is doing something of use. So there's a better way of doing this. Oh, so he knows about that. So you can't go near him, Mikel. Located him. Oh shit! What a guy! Oh, I bet he's like the time police, isn't he? He's gonna stop him from interfering. Is that it, eh? Wie müssen die Menschen sich gefühlt haben, als man ihn zum ersten Mal sagte, die Erde sei eine Kugel? Fat boy. Doch, das ist total verrückt. Und wenn es das nicht ist, wie soll das gehen? That was so weird. <laughs> Mikael, his father, his fucking friend's little brother. That's Ulrich, my grandfather is, and Martha, your tante. That's the worst. And your mum's having. Okay, let's go back and bring everything back to order. It's like the fucking ultimate incest triangle when you think about it. He knows a lot, mate, and I want to know how much he knows. And who is he? Follow that motherfucker. We need to learn more. He knows. It's not because you know Ulrich's onto something, but the way he's going around is not the best way. Fucking no, that creepy ass motherfucker. Okay, there we go. Should have a mark on her face then. Bit late. Das bist du schon lange nicht mehr. Meinst du das? I was. Ich weiß es, Ulrich. Wo ist gefunden ihm? Was weißt du? That you've had an affair. I didn't think she was going to bring it up. I love how well done that confession was, the, uh, how bringing that up was done there. She just looks disappointed as fuck. How is she not angry? There we go. You don't realise what you lost until it's gone, do you? Oh, Rick. It's not, it's not like she's a bad missus anyway. I wonder what caused him to cheat with Hannah in the first place. I do want to actually know that. Like we don't actually know that yet. You couldn't say anything to fix that. He fucking dug that hole for himself. Don't do it. I don't have to put that thought in his mind now. So you gotta let him meet. Again. That'd be so weird. <laughs> Wait, what would we go for yet? 
It's so different from the usuals where I've seen your parents. He's literally seen someone he knew as like, a friend of a kid. Du darfst niemals aufhören zu hoffen. Da draußen ist genauso viel Licht wie Dunkelheit. No, it isn't. This show's called Dark, not called Eat Light and Dark. God, woman. Katharina meinte, du wolltest mir was sagen. Hold it, man. Yes, it is not a man. So he knows now, but then. Oh. Mate, he just had a big brain moment, didn't he? Oh, the wallpaper. Off from the room. So that's in, that room is where that thing is. She's going to click because kids wallpaper. So she did actually love the Mikhail then. Is he snuck back in again? Oh, he left the house, didn't he? Nursing him. Oh, it's all collecting these little dots, the wens, the journey through time. Come on, mate. Time travel. Oh, it's a specific chapter. Stealth 100. Who's there? You there. So he is responsible. So what he drags his body through that tunnel and dumps it in the future. Mate, why is it the end of dark episodes? It just starts throwing more stuff at you. That's his son. Oh, Noah, Noah, it's the priest. Okay, that explains how his body gets ends up in the future. Oh, so, yeah. I thought the guy with the ear was going to be more of the good guy, but no, he worked for Noah, and he was doing it. He, he was moving the bodies, and that's how his body ended up in the future we still don't know what they're doing with the kids like why they're doing this to the kids i hope we learn about that soon i'm really interested in all what what the fuck noah's up to and what they're doing so that room is where that device is and i like how so we weren't like where i thought at first maybe they traded places like uh M Mikkel went back and then mads went forward and now we still i still don't know how Mikkel got there because he didn't go from you think um, I, don't, we, I guess we still don't know how Mikel ended up in the future. So I don't, I don't know if we know how Mikel ended up in the past, but we know Mads was dragged. I'm guessing he was dragged and then placed, placed in the future. Um, but yeah, no. Oh god, I think I really need to watch the next episode and just give. A few, I think it's one of those. Is this episode is like a piece together episode? Like I don't think this episode makes 100% sense until you have the rest of the pieces, and then this episode places in nicely. So I've not got too much to discuss from that point of view but yeah we also got in the normal drama stuff we got Catherine confront Ulrich about the affair that was pretty well done um it looks like the guy of the year played an even bigger role than I thought he did I thought he was sort of like he was going to be like on, on the good side but he's not he's working for Noah so that side of that led to that guy's character um the copper did investigate all this and then we still got Ulrich going into gear and he's now learning stuff and now he's following him which I'm curious what the old man's trying to do still uh, we also meet the stranger who's fucking stopping John Jonas from fucking up the timeline. So I wonder what well, who who's he? What what sort of role is he playing in the show? He obviously knows Jonas is destined for something. I'm curious what Jonas is destined for. With like the whole set, we we'll talk about fate. Is all this all fate? Is it fate that all this happens? I'm interested in sort of exploring all that sort of stuff. 
But yeah, really enjoying this so far, guys. Hopefully you join me in the next episode, which should be up soon, hopefully. If not, it will be up today at some point. Peace.